Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan. We are here at Stratford, the BT Studios, with the one and only Frank Warren, who's hosting a show this Saturday night. Frank, first of all, how's life treating you? Yeah, I can't complain. What about you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, talk me through the card then. Shiraz Torres, Hamza Shiraz headline in the card there. Good card, it's been, re been received quite well too. It has, and it's a good step up for him. You know, he's fighting a, a, a fighter that everyone knows who he is in boxing, so it's going to be a gauge or a measure to see how far Hams has come in his career. And I expect him to, I expect him to make a statement on Saturday. I'm really looking forward to seeing him in the ring. He's, 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 he's a consummate professional. He's trained and worked very hard for this fight. And, you know, this is going to show what he's all about. It's his second fight of middleweight, so I think he's much more comfortable at this weight now. So, fingers crossed, he does the business. Frank, as a promoter, you've seen talent come and go, so you're a good gauge for talent. How far do you think Hamza Shiraz can go? Look, he's done everything that's been asked of him, of him up to as yet. I think there's, uh, he's got a long way to go yet, but he, he's, you know, I think he's got it within him to, to go on and become a world champion. I really do think. I, I think very highly of him. He's quite unique for... Uh, you know, when he was at light middle and middleweight now. In fact, the fact that he's such a tall guy, he's a rangy guy, he can fight inside, and that doesn't that doesn't normally happen with tall guys. They normally work to their strengths, which is their jab and long shots, but he can he fights inside really well. I like him. I like everything I've seen about him I like about I like about him and I think he's uh, I really think he's got a good future in front of him. Talking through some of the card uh Clark and Heffron, very good fight in That's prospect a war, there. Isn't it? It's yeah. a good fight. I mean these two guys are it's a bit of a crossroads fight for both of them mm. so um, they know what's at stake and I think uh, I think um, we're going to get something a little bit special out of them I think they'll put on a both of them are up for it and I think there's going to be a really 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 keenly fought and an exciting fight whilst it lasts Nick Ball a lot of momentum with Nick Ball considering yeah. what he did with in, at Wembley and the Tyson Fury undercard important that he continues that momentum going yeah he's, he's, he's I mean, he made it. Everyone talked about him after the show, you know, after Tyson's show. I mean, he was the kid that they was all talking about on the undercard, and it was a, you know, it was a fantastic performance against a very, very tough performer in Isaac Lowe. You know, he didn't come to sit on the floor, did he? I mean, he was there, you know, plugging away toward the end. But I think, um, I think Nick's got a really good future in front of him, and this again is a step up for him. And he'll be looking to make a statement as he does in his fights, which are all action. I mean, he, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not in there to go to distance. He wants to get rid of them as soon as the first bell goes. Dennis McCann also the menace too, back in action. And yeah. James Beach Jr. no easy opponent either. No, it's uh, you know, he's, he's up in weight. Uh, this again is a good fight, and for both of them, you know, it's uh, you know, he wants to make a statement. Um, it, and and I think, and I, do, I really do think that. Um, I think he's one of the stars of the future, but you know, and in James, he's got a tough, tough opponent. A number of things I want to breeze through with you, Frank. First of all, um, speaking to Talksport, you said that Joe Joyce's put, uh, next opponent is close to being announced. Can we get any hints on that? Uh, no, we're working on it. We've got a couple in mind, and we, 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 I hope we get it done. I want to get it done before the weekend. With a bit of luck. What's that card looking like that Joe Joyce will headline the next show that he's on? It's looking good, I mean, you know, and I think everybody can be happy with it once we get it sorted out. Daniel Dubois, he fought Trevor Bryan. What's the latest in terms of him getting paid for that fight? Well, they're working on it at the moment, and uh, you know, he's, he's fought and he should be paid. And that's where we are at the moment. Um, and uh, hopefully that will get resolved fairly soon. It needs to be resolved. Joyce and Dubois, two your your leading heavyweights there. Is Dubois likely to be out soon as well, yeah. corresponding with Joyce? Yeah, he'll be out sometime in, I think, early October. That's what we intend to do. Speaking of your heavyweights as well, Tyson Fury set out his terms for a fight with Anthony Joshua. Wembley say them free for the fans. Frank, if there's anyone that can put that on, it's you. Not for free, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, um, you seem more optimistic as the days go further on that he'll actually no, come I back just, out of I just think Tyson's a fighting man. I think it's in his blood. And I think he, he, I think he'd get itchy fist and he'd want to be... He want to be back in the ring again, but you know, he only, I only want him to do it if he wants to do it. What I don't want him to do, as I've said on many occasions, I don't want him to retire now and come back in two, three years' time because I think he's, I think he, I don't think he's quite reached his peak. But I'm, I like to see, you know, certainly as far as he's concerned, I want to see him fighting at his best because at his best, he's unbeatable. Keeping with the heavyweight the theme, a fighter that you worked with in, in the past, Derek Chisora, managed to beat Kubat Pulov, get his revenge at the weekend. What do you think of that fight? 
Yeah, I watched it. it was, you know, Derek done well and he came through it and it was a tough fight. Um, you know, Derek, Derek, you know, it's good that he got a win under his, under his belt after a while. Uh, the other news that's rumbling around is uh, Conor Ben versus Chris Eubank um, Jr., the, the legacy generation fight, Frank. What do you think of that one? I don't know. What's the weight disparity on that? Apparently it's going to be around 155, 6, 7, 8, around that mark. Whatever they get it on, it's a decent fight. I mean, everyone will buy into that because they're, because of their fathers, no doubt about that. Do you think that's the type of fight that would do well on a pay-per-view? Yeah, I think people will buy into that. I'm quite sure they will buy into that. Is it a little bit disappointing in the sense that they're looking to put Conor Ben with the likes of Eubank Jr., but you've got David Avanissian, who you've been looking to campaign to get that fight there, but yeah. it's not materialised. David Avanissian would beat both of them. No problem with that. He would definitely do that. And if you know Chris Eubanks wants to go, you know, wants to even, you know, really wants a, 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 wants to have a test, then uh, you know, there's there's a uh, Amman Parker as well. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a that's a good fight. Good fight to be made. Speaking of Zach Parker, what's the latest with Demetrius Andre? It's well, he's, he, I understand he's going to stay down at middleweight now. Okay. So is, uh, you're looking for new opponents then for Zach? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that Jante Wilder has looked like he's going to be coming back um, against Robert Hellenius. Wilder, someone well, you... I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I just heard that. I mean, it's not my business. That's uh, his promoter's business. But good to see Wilder back, though, considering the, the, well, the he trilogy. Wants... He had. Look, he's an exciting fighter. He wants to come back. He's going to come back. You know, um, that's up to him. That's his choice. Uh, Tommy Fury, the fight with Jake Paul hasn't materialised. Can you tell us from your perspective what kind of happened now that the situation's kind of done? Well, what's happened is that he uh, he didn't get his Esther in time, so they looked to another opponent. You can't blame them. That's they got a show to run, and it's only a couple of weeks away. So they did what they had to do, and hopefully, uh, let's hope we can try and get it on together afterwards uh, once he gets his Esther sorted out. And then, of course, uh, Usyk AJ. Too. I've not got your thoughts on it, Frank. Uh, a lot of people talking about how Anthony Joshua has to approach the fight to get the win. What are your thoughts on it? He's just got to impose himself on Usyk, and I don't know where he's capable of doing that. He didn't look like he was capable of doing it last time out, and I think I think I think Usyk is a clever fighter, and he's not some he's not an Andy, he's not an Andy Ruiz who blows up in weight, before, you know, before, between fights, and you know he will be tr- training seriously for this fight, as we all know, and uh, I think I think uh, AJ is going to his hands full with him because I think I feel that Usyk one feels he's got his number, and two. I think he. I think he feels he can knock him out. Like as a promoter, considering the carrot that is Tyson Fury with Anthony Joshua, is that the fight you're leaning for, hoping to happen that Anthony Joshua does win that fight? I'd love him, Anthony Joshua to win it. You know, it's an all British affair, and why wouldn't that? Wouldn't anyone in boxing want that to happen? But if he, you know, if he, if he does AJ, then that's brilliant. If he doesn't, then what a great fight it still is with with Usyk. That's still a great big. That's a massive fight. And Frank, finally, for people who are watching this interview and want to know why they should tune in this weekend, tell them why they should tune in. Because you're going to see some of the best young talent in the UK, if not the world. Exciting fighters, in, and, and in some of them, in really exciting fights. So tune in, watch it, and you won't be disappointed. Frank, the stars of the future. So-